So, yesterday, remember yesterday? I talked about good reviews and getting bad reviews, and how easy it is to get a terrible review, and how hard it is to get clients and customers to say something positive. It turns out good reviews are seldom unsolicited. If you don't ask, you won't receive. You may offer the best product or service in the world. It doesn't matter. People like to complain when something's wrong, when they feel cheated or ripped off. I think it somehow has to do with our culture, where we often dwell on the negative. My teacher never said to me, you've got eight answers, right? He always said, you made two big mistakes, don't disappoint me next time. A lot of parents are the same way, nothing is ever good enough, and if that's a message you grew up with, that is something that sticks with you. Some people are just very good at finding fault. I just watched Marta Agrich, an amazing pianist in her 80s, perform a concerto the way I've never heard it played before. It was ear-opening and so moving, but apparently, not to everyone, the very last commentator on YouTube said, cut your hair, woman. If you know Marta Agri, she has long hair, but so what? I know the internet is inundated with immature trolls, but really, really? If there's one thing I'd like to bring back, it is the ability to admire and be supportive of one another. What's so hard about giving someone a compliment? I mean, it has to be deserved. It has to be earned. I hate it when kids get a prize just for showing up. But when someone does something extraordinary, they deserve praise. It's positive reinforcement. It makes people fly. It gives people wings. But we live in a time where we don't even say please and thank you anymore. I think showing appreciation is a sign of respect. And best of all, it doesn't cost a thing. Now, what does this have to do with getting good reviews and testimonials, you may wonder? Well, there's this thing called reciprocity, give and take. You can't expect people to give you a rave review if you're not prepared to give on yourself. It's only fair, don't you think? And fair is often defined as an equal exchange. But here's the thing. Don't give in order to get, but give from your heart. You've got to mean it, and it has to be earned. If you give in order to get something in return, that's a bribe or a way to make yourself look good. Oh, look what I just gave. No, 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 no. But here's the magical thing. When you start giving, you will receive in some way, shape or form. At least that's my experience. Quite often there's no direct line between what you give and what you receive, but I believe there's some invisible cosmic connection, if you will. I still think that it's true that if you're nice to people, people are more likely to treat you nicely as well. And even if you get nothing in return, it's still good to be kind and appreciative, don't you think? Compliments will open more doors than complaints. So thank your client for sending that check really fast. Thank your partner for always supporting you in this difficult business. Thank your colleagues for giving you advice when you most needed it. Thank your body for getting you through that difficult time. Thank those who gave you a difficult time. Yes, thank them too, because it made you stronger, didn't it? Keep on thanking, thanking, thanking. Make it a habit, make it a habit to show gratitude wherever you go. It will allow you to focus on all the things that go right in your life. And you'll be so much happier, I promise. And you'll become what you attract, a blessing.